So, welcome everyone to day two. Hopefully you all are as excited to be here as we are. Mm. What's the plan for day two? So, today it's Bjorn and Radovan teaching. So, what do we have in store? It will ignore Git. I'm just setting up so that I can also see what we are, what we are actually streaming. Are we now sharing the notes? Uh, yes, your screen is Good. being shared. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Today will be uh, there will be more Git, and we will today move uh, from from the web to our computers, and from our computers to the web. So really, the two goals are being able to take somebody else's project. And continue working on your computer. Goal number one. Goal number two is then be able to share your work with other people through places like GitHub, GitLab. And in between, um, we will learn a really nice set of tools to navigate in a project created by other people, because that's the situation we are often in. Yeah. So basically, it's all about. reaching like like someone said yesterday connecting your computer to the web and that and then tomorrow is about using multiple people in projects yeah tomorrow will be a collaboration yeah. and uh i'm sharing here also two icebreaker questions one of them is more just for fun oh and this is so that you can we actually want to see that people are able to edit the document. So that's one thing we want to see. And if you are unsure how to find it and how to edit, I will, will say something about that once we officially start in a couple of minutes. But the second question is really important for us. And that is, which path did you use yesterday to interact with Git? So please let us know. And I will I will come back to this question. So this is really important for us that you vote here and that you also let us know about paths that we should offer in future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and maybe you can even help us add some of the extra paths after you've done the course. Yeah, um, so what was your overall outlook of yesterday? Then, um, I think it went pretty well. From I was really happy with what we achieved. Um, a day, uh, the first day is always tricky because we have learners who are completely new to Git and GitHub. We have learners who use it since quite some time, and the day one is to really find a balance of getting everybody on the same page and get like an understanding of what, what Git is. Yeah. And we try to find this balance by offering these different paths, like GitHub, like VS Code, like command line. And and we offer these different paths because also we know that there is not this, this one tool that will work for everybody. We want to meet learners uh, where they are. And also among our, ourselves, I'm sure that we use different tools and so yeah, I was really happy with the progress. Yeah. I guess the main thing I got from the feedback is we should have clarified the different paths going together and made recommendations for which one to take. So, yeah. yeah. And today we will do that because we need to do it. So okay. today I will spend a little bit of time at the beginning Okay. Uh, to clarify that. And also, since today, some of us might experiment with a different path. And uh, we will show how how you can set it up if you haven't done that already. That's why also the first exercise will be a little bit longer to give people time to set up and configure. Yeah. OK, I'll okay. just here rearrange my windows a little bit. Oops. Great. So looking at the icebreakers here, what do we see? Um, 
Yeah, lots of interesting animals there. The person who wrote Homo sapiens wins, especially if it counts ourselves. That's <laughs> probably actually what most of us should have said. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I'm loose yesterday. Oh, nice. I was driving in the dark and then it jumped over the road. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess from the second question, it's about what we would have hoped. And the people who tried a combination of different paths, that's actually good. So I agree mm -hmm. with what people said, like it's hard to use, like to do basically all the exercises twice unless you're already really good at one of them. But mm -hmm. this is like what we want people to be able to see in the end, how these are actually pretty similar going together and they can all do the same things. And seeing what is the common thing there. But so maybe yeah. we should have also clarified that there was no expectation that people now go through all the paths so that they choose one path. We can also see that uh, we will need something for our studio. Mm -hmm. The good news is that today, I think we will have um, some options for that. Do, do but, you have a mm -hmm. third path that you work through, Rabla? Or are you using all, all types? Uh, so now for my own work? Yeah. For my own work, it's most of the time it's command line. But if I can do something quick on the web, oh, I will do it quickly on the web. So right. it's command line and a little bit of GitHub. Um, yep. Have you tried this trick with pressing the dot and then getting an editor on uh, GitHub? Yes. That's a nice trick. We should maybe show that. Uh, yeah. We could have mentioned it later uh, when we when we edit files. Yeah. Yeah, maybe let's remember to use it. Um, then also today, uh, it will be possible to to do most of today just with GitHub. But there is one portion that um, for this we will need something to work locally. But if if it doesn't work, it's not a problem. We, you can then s skip it and um, like 70% of today can be done in GitHub alone. Okay. But I think we are ready to start. Three yeah. minutes past. So maybe I'll head off and start watching the questions again and leave you all to it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Great. Thanks a lot. See you later. Yep. You let's later. talk about Bye. Git. Maybe let's start by uh, introducing ourselves. And then I will introduce this notes document that we are looking at on because that's an important tool for us to uh, so that you can interact and ask questions and uh, give us feedback. But first, uh, yeah, hello here from Northern Norway. My name is Hadvan Bast. And uh, I've been doing these kind of workshops since many years and I really enjoy it. The rest of my time I work with high performance computing and really supporting researchers and students with everything around computing and programming. And with me is my colleague Björn from Tonem. Yeah, good morning. My name is Björn Linde. I work at the high performance group at the Norwegian University of Technology and Science. So I've been part of Code Refinery for quite some years. And I like doing these workshops. So I'm really looking forward to the to today. Yeah. So let's get started here first. If if you join today, um, I just wanted to very briefly explain this document here that I'm looking at. And first of all, how do you find it? Um, you find it when you register to the workshop, you either got an email from me a couple of days ago that contains the link. If you registered after, it's also another problem, then it was in the automatic reply um, during your, your registration. So there you can find the link to this document. It's a it's a document, it's like collaborative notes we can all view and edit. 
I'm now looking at it in the view mode, um, but there is somewhere an edit button, edit pen. So if I click on the edit pen, it switches to edit mode. And in the edit mode, um, I can then edit and please try it. So please try to, to add something for, so I also saw some neighbor cat walking by. So I'll test it out. And then below here, we have this other question that is really important for us. And that is, which path did you choose yesterday to interact with Git? And it's not a problem if you were not here yesterday. Well, you should, should mention that we try to stay anonymous. So we leave out your name. So don't add your name to the document. Oh, great point. Yeah. So here, don't use any names, um, but please ask lots of questions. We will, after each day, we also publish uh, publish the notes as part of the workshop, so they become part of the part of the workshop outcomes. And I will scroll back to this question here, but uh, below, you can then always find the link to where we will be. I will now just post the uh, the link on where you can find today's material. So we will be very, very soon starting here. Uh, start today at here. And as we then go through different episodes, we post links to it. And what we would really like you to do is to ask lots of questions. And the best place to ask questions is at the bottom of the document, because we will hopefully get I hope that we get at least 100 questions today. You can number the questions. I will make an example here, for instance. Let's start with the question number one. Is this the way, is this the place to ask? And somebody can answer and somebody is answering. And um, this is also why we are here, two instructors, plus we have our colleague in the studio so that we can, we are several people, we watch these questions. We will answer all of them. And some of them we will then lift and uh, we will discuss them in voice. So the more questions, the better. And um, it... no question or too simple or too stupid to ask, ask in it about anything really. Yeah. If you have a question, it's very likely that somebody else has the same question and was too afraid to ask. So please ask it. Um, also a reminder, we use a code of conduct. So let's be all nice, nice to each other. This is like in, in any other professional setting. And if you see something that is not right, please point it out. Uh, we will be also be, we just want to create a really like welcoming and nice atmosphere too in, in this workshop. But now that we got the housekeeping done, I will now navigate to this link and you can navigate there with me. So the, maybe the best way to participate today is to, on one half of your screen, to have the notes open. And this is also why our screen share is portrait mode and not landscape mode. And in, on the other half of the screen, you can then either have the GitHub open or your editor or your terminal. And I will now navigate to the lesson material, which, well, you can, you can open somewhere else on your screen.